Thank you very much. Hello and good morning from Amsterdam. Currently, I'm in a village in the northeast of Amsterdam. The name of this village is Volendam, and the temperature currently is minus four. And there are so many canals here. You can see. and some of the portion of these canals are frozen if you see over there so the canal is frozen so now the water is flowing here but after some time from that portion of the canal it the, completely the water is frozen so it's that much cold here i can't even remove my gloves so whenever i try to remove my gloves to take some pictures it feels like my, my blood is getting frozen so extremely cold in the month of december we can see the sea and the beautiful houses in volendam the temperature is quite better here because of the sun inside these lanes oh my god it was freezing cold but though here the sun is there but because of the cold because of the wind it's cold here as well but it's better of course better than the narrow lanes where there was no sunlight many people are having morning work and jogging here and doing jogging here and we are just exploring this cute little village this is the heart of the volendam village and it is so cold that my gopro all my battery of my gopro drained out and i had to plug in the charger one more time to get my gopro going see these beautiful ships these ships takes us from volendam to marken that's another village inside the sea must pro see this you can hear the sounds with the bells ringing at the church that's in front of me i'm trying to go in that way only because this is the day after christmas so of course the city and of course the churches will be well decorated and in front of me you can see the church of volendam and see how beautiful it looks when the sunlight falls directly on the clock and the church tower this nice gentleman sitting here and that's me i don't really like to wear this hoodie all the time but well here i don't have another options but it feels good when the sunlight falls in your face and uh, well you feel less cold Currently, there are some restrictions in Netherlands, and that uh, the shops cannot be open all the day, and uh, the restaurants must be take away, and non-essential shops are basically closed after five o'clock in the evening. So, most of the shops, as we can see here, they are not yet open actually. I think they will open at around ten o'clock in the morning, but it's still nine thirty. So there is some time for them to open, and uh, most probably we can try some waffle here. I'll try. I'll I'll see now if I can have something now because I'm feeling hungry and we didn't have breakfast. I even forgot that. So I'm just inside a shop here in Volendam, and you see all kinds of waffles. 
we just order ours and it's uh, getting prepared fresh waffle and uh, they guided us how to roam around in Poland them and about different package tours but we already have a day pass from ENS company through which we can go to Marken as well so I just took permission from them to take a small video of their shop because it's really nice and it has a different chocolates waffles and delicacy that is must to try when you are in Volendam because these are all Volendam specialities you see these beautiful chocolates this is not the right season for tourists right I don't see many people in the roads no I, I don't <laughs> think a lot of people want to come to Holland <laughs> <laughs> because of the lockdown or is because of cold no not because of the cold I really think the lockdown okay it's also it's it's a little bit uh, low season now ah, okay no, yeah with Christmas people are coming but yeah Holland is not really uh, attractive <laughs> at the moment uh, yes because of the restrictions yeah Actually, yes, we had the evening lockdown, of course. So yes. every shop had to close at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So that was okay, except if you want to go to a restaurant. Like yeah. A of chocolate? There was no yes. restaurant. Yes, yes, please. Open, of course, so everything was. Oh, even the restaurants were did close at five o'clock, so that was really sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now <laughs> again with Christmas. But it's really beautiful. Yesterday we were at the Amsterdam Central. It was very nice, man. Many people are there in the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, with Christmas, we we have two days of Christmas, huh? Eh? Yes. So we have the first day. This is the second day. Ah, okay. We have, we have two uh, days we celebrate it. Ah, okay. One family, family-in-law, mm -hmm. eating, 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 eating. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, nice most of the time, yeah. most of the time, people do celebrate it the first day, mm -hmm. and then the second day they go for a walk or they yeah. go to the to the with the dog to the beach or uh, whatever. Just. <sighs> Just relax. Just relax. Yeah. But yeah, today it is there really cold. But That's we hope happens. it's going to enjoy. Thank you very much. More busy. But the lockdown is terrible. A lot of Spanish people. So can you tell tell me something about uh, this village for the video? Tell you something about this village. Hmm. What do you want to know? <laughs> Like basically, what I know is it's a it's a fisherman village, right? It is a fisherman village, yes. Yeah, they, they used to have a lot of fishermen, of course. So okay. they would go to the Isomere, catch the fish, and then yeah, that's why I, I think we also have yeah, we have a lot of restaurants here. Yeah. So here, like uh, fishing, like we we have seafood restaurants. Many of them are. Yeah. All types of restaurants. We yeah. Yeah. And I was seeing in uh, YouTube. I think there are uh, smoked eels that is very famous here. Is yeah. it true? Yes. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. Okay. Well, eels. Where Where can I get it now? Ooh. Um. Is that in Bokum? Shall we go to the Of that half. Or the Kleintje. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you can try if you go a little bit to the right. Yeah. And then. Um, you can go a little bit down. There's a really, it's like a fairy tale, <laughs> <laughs> a little little shop. yeah shop, and there they do sell fish over there. Okay. And I think they have to smoke you. Yeah. Okay. So I think okay. So after the waffle, we can go and check. And have yeah. your fish. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. So thank you very much, both like of you. It, yeah. Then you can go with the boat, or you can. Yes, we will try that as well. And the cheese factory is also open. Also very nice to have a look. Okay. Because if you're in Holland, you really have to try the cheese. Try the cheese. Mm -hmm. okay. See these beautiful houses. The beautiful architecture and see the roof, how it is designed. I think because of the heavy snowfall in these regions, these houses are designed like this. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. The sun is rising in the horizon. And we are here. We just took a bus bus 316 from Amsterdam Central it was very near from the hotel for where we were staying and it's almost like 20 minutes uh, by, by the bus to come here six seven stops and it's really beautiful 
Amsterdam central looks different and the villages that is little outskirts from the city center are completely different. I'll never complain after going back in France about cold. And as I live in southern France, in the lap of, in the foothills of the French Alps, it's cold there as well. The temperature goes up to minus four, minus five, but that's a different kind of coal and this is a different kind of coal. Now I will enter this beautiful street. You see the name of the street. I don't know if I can pronounce it correctly. It's Sinsmen Molstrat. These are all Dutch names. I am finding difficulty in pronouncing French names after almost one and a half years staying in France and now these Dutch names these are like going over my heads but good thing is that many people most of them speak English uh, at least they understand it so that's a very good point for me while staying in Netherlands and in Amsterdam and see what I was telling, the lakes, the canals, you see, it's completely frozen. You see, part of it, you can see the water and most of the area is frozen. And after some time, after a few days, you can skate in these canals. But this is a very small canal, but there are big, big canals where you can skating, do skating. I don't know how much I will be able to shoot here because of the cold but i will try to shoot as much as i can because that's what i do the best i can see the sun i can see the moon everything all together how was volendam for me it was something really new and nice experience and uh, now i am back at the bus stop to catch my bus for my next destination so thank you for staying connected see you in the next video bye Big brown